Why is it often difficult for a victim of an attack to remember and later describe the criminal's face? It is not a poor memory, but the brain's defense mechanisms in the face of a mortal threat. Here's what we learned while creating the game Lost in the Roots. When stress levels go through the roof, the brain switches to survival mode. Activity in the prefrontal cortex, logic, planning, memory, decreases while the amygdala, the fear center, takes over. The Bodhi's priority is to escape, not to remember details. Tunnel vision kicks in. Attention focuses on the weapon or the escape route. The attacker's face ends up in the periphery of perception and is barely retained in memory. Dissociation can occur, a feeling of watching everything from the outside. In such states, memories are fragmented. Smells, sounds, touches, but no clear picture remains. Stress hormones, cortisol, adrenaline, can both enhance and disrupt memory consolidation. When stress is excessive, it shatters memory. Only imprecise fragments remain. But you should remember, none of this makes the victim's testimony unreliable. It means the brain did everything it could to save their life. So that's why you won't remember me.